Watch out! Left side! We need to get the <laughs> Yes! The wheel's moving and the gate's coming down. That's dwarven ingenuity for ya. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nithavalir. Way there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. Clinging to the wall! We gotta knock it down! <laughs> 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 
Uncover that geyser from here. could try hitting the rope holding the block. Nice one. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Glad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well... Like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. Atreus, right beyond... look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to we you don't for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Poor for you. Sindri! Hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> Hmm. 
Take your time. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Ugh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Whoo! <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well... Everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards. God. This looks promising, right? Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother.
sorry. One more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. And anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. This is the safety office? 
Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Who'd you collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Come 
This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. Heimdall. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Don't let he didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Looks like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. It seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. And if then is his war to fight, he may have it.
A bomb. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry the Dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. A oh, there we go! <laughs> 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 Tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. <laughs> 